Probably just what were your expectations coming in this spring, and how do you think you've met those? So uh, my expectation was just coming in, learning the plays. The Kentucky just brought me in. They loved on me. It was just a great feeling. So I'm just learning the plays, soaking up from Dane, Barry Young, AB, Jamari Young, everybody, Chip, like everybody on the team. They just come and help me. I'm just soaking everything in I could do. You got here even a little before signing day, right? Yeah, I got here in November at 16. Came here at 16, so I'm 17 now. I came here, I'm just soaking everything in, everything I can, just soak it in. So how, how did that period in December, watching the bowl practice, watching that practice? It was great. It was just uh, a good transition for me to see like what's the difference from high school and college, but it's just really the same thing. But Kentucky just so loving on me, they just bought me in and just feel the same. You guys come in wide eyes, right? At 16, yeah. I mean, what was that like? Uh, it was great. It was a great feeling. I came in, high expectations. I, I felt like I'm meeting them, but like like I said, Dane, Barryon, Coach Schwartz, like everybody from Kentucky staff just loving me, and it's just been a great feeling. What have some, been some of your takeaways of them to Dane and Barryon from – when you first got here now? Uh, now, it's really the same thing. They've been on me, like, they tell me, like, don't get frustrated about the small thing. Just everything, take your time with everything. The more slow you do, the more better. Like, they just on me about this, get mad at myself, just staying on top of me, make sure everything's good about me. Was there a guy when you, you first came in at that age and maybe been here for four or five years or maybe even more, but you thought, man, there's a big difference <laughs> coming uh, out of high school? And uh, yes, like, I say Max. Max, um, in practice, Max give me a good reps. Like, that's a new competition I face. Like, it's different from high school. But they give me better every day. Like, the defensive side give me better. JJ, they all on me. They just make sure I'm okay. Make sure I'm doing everything right. Are you moving around or are you focused on one receiver position right now? Right now, I'm doing all the receiver. We just learn the playbook. We all match at every position, Are you every more play. comfortable outside or in the slot? Or Both. The Both. What is spring ball? mean to you and what are some things that you try to accomplish? Uh, spring ball me like it's just development time. Um, like I said, learning from my older guys. Me just like learning, soaking up everything I soak up from my older guys. They've been on me so I'm just soaking everything I can. Well, Coach Schwartz and Coach Hampton talk about your work ethic being unusual for a guy your age. Where did that come from? Have you always been a guy who worked hard or did you have to learn that? Uh, I've always been a guy who worked hard because my mom, my mom pushed me a lot since I was small. So I just had it in me, installed in me. What have been some of your first impressions of Brock? Brock, yeah. uh, first impressions, really good quarterback. Uh, he was transferred from Georgia, so he's like he's kind of older. So I'm like looking at him like he's he's old, but he's a great guy. <laughs> he's a great guy. Brock is great. He leading me, make sure I do everything right, make sure I got everything on point. We in the playbook, overtime playbook. Brock is just a good dude overall. What makes Coach Shorts really effective for you guys? Uh, he he break everything down for us. He just be honest to us, make sure we. On everything, he makes sure we like we know what we're doing. Everything, he just makes sure everything down pat. What is Coach Hamden like, and how have you seen everybody adjust to a new coordinator? Uh, we adjust very good. Like everybody translated good. Like it's just Kentucky football. You come in, they just gonna love on you. It's just a good, a good university. Jason, we heard good things about you last week. What were your, just, your expectations coming in the spring, and then how do you think it's gone? Um, my expectations coming in, uh, I mean, I thought that I had the ability to do it. Um, then when I went out there on the field and I proceeded to get it done, um, you know, I, I really enjoyed what's going on right now. I'm really liking where I'm at. Um, I'm just, you know, ready for the fall. Coach said keeping the intensity up, you know, from spring ball. Week one, everyone's excited. But you guys want to finish strong, too. Like, what is that challenge like as a player to just kind of start? I mean, yeah, it's a challenge uh, having to go in each and every day trying to battle each and the, um, the guys. Uh, it's hard, but uh, that's that's what good teams do. You know, they go in and they're ready for battle. Uh, each and every day they take it. They take uh, their time and go out there and try to get it done. And it's fun, too. I mean, what's this experience been like? I mean, it's been a wild experience for me. Come from where I came from, I'm from a small town. So seeing, like, all the athletes that I'm surrounded around, I'm surrounded by a great group of guys. I love each and every one of my teammates. They are amazing. And I'm just, I'm blessed to be here. I'm blessed to be around them. So, such a great group of guys. Did you know 26 was a number that had, had been important for running backs here before with Benny Snell? And, and, and have you been told about it? See, yeah, I've been told. I, I watched uh, Kentucky a couple years ago when Benny Snell was there. And uh, it was ironic uh, to how I got my number was when I just came to the locker room. And it was just 26 was there. And I was like, how ironic that was. You know, the wear 26 after Benny Snell, you know, the numbers he put up, it was amazing. He was an amazing back. And uh, I you know, I watch him uh, each and every day, trying to, you know, uh, impress my game after him and stuff like that. So, so you didn't pick it yourself? No, no, sir. But it was amazing that I got that number, though.
You talked about the group of guys that you're around. What else has stood out to you about this transition so far? What's been the most different part of it? Uh, different part of it, I say, it wouldn't even be. Uh, I don't. I don't think it's the field. I think it's just uh, change. It's whole change of lifestyle. Um, like I say, where I'm from, I don't even have a stoplight, red light. So, you know, going in here was a red light down the street. Like it's just different. It's different for me. So, just that change a lot. But I mean, as far as that, I think I've been, you know, coming along, getting, and getting into it. So I mean, I've been enjoying it. Oh, they're great. They're great guys. Uh, Chip uh, from Ohio State, he's amazing. Um, I know I'm glad that we got him over here. He helped me out each and every uh, real, you know, after real, he gave me information about it. Demi, that's my dog. Like, I, you know, I like, I like Demi. Me and Demi been cool off the field, so on the field, it's just the relationship that we had, it's just, you know, binding together. He's just been helping me, both of them guys, just, you know, mentoring me through all this whole process. You, you talked about Benny, but obviously Chris Rodriguez, what Brady did last year. How much does that kind of success like had at running backs attract you? It, it meant a lot to me, uh, knowing that I could come here and succeed at the running back position. Uh, running back position at the UK has been like the domino, I say. So, knowing that I could come here and just succeed at that uh, behind some group of guys, Chip and Demi, that's, that's amazing. It seems like you have a pretty diverse group of backs there. How, how do you kind of compare yourself and contrast yourself to the other guys? Uh, I don't. I don't say it's a compare and contrast uh, type of deal. I think we all try to, you know, go off each other. You know, where we see that that, that one person is struggling, at, we try to help them at, in that area, or like f uh, vice versa. Like it's. I don't think it's a compare and contrast type of deal. We just try to embed each other each and every day because iron sharp is iron. I mean, that's that's our goal.